Hi. Hello. How's it going? All good. How are you? Yeah, good. Thanks, Tomana. Have we already attacked the buffet? Not yet. Why is that? It's quite. It's already two <laughs> thirty. You skipped breakfast. I, I skipped breakfast. I was on the London time vibe. So Fair I enough. Woke up as late as I could. But I am very excited to yeah. talk about your kids. Uh, yeah, tell me what you know. How old are They're they now? Twelve and eight. Twelve and They're eight. They're big now. Is yeah. that uh, difficult to juggle around? It's always difficult. Well, it keeps changing. Like the funny thing about parenting is, like, right from when they're babies, like the second you feel like you figured something out, they change again. Yeah, they're like. So psych- it's like I've got the sleep routine, yeah. and then they change, and yeah. then you're like, oh, I know how to soothe them, and then they're in a different <laughs> development way. Yeah. Oh, this is their favorite. No, no. no. Well, let's talk about your childhood then. Sure. Did, did you feel like, you know, you had to take music as a career path? It's less easy to answer than it seems because it's both are true. Like yes and no. I was told very clearly that like my parents wanted me to be happy first and foremost. So if I didn't want to play, that would be okay. So I did get that support from them, but like it was very very clear yeah. what yeah. they were. Yeah. So they kind of did that like Indian parent vibe of like mm. my dad would say, you know, when we don't want to force you, if you want to play, play. If you don't want to play, that's okay. Pause. Of course, I will be very sad if you don't play. But and you're like, okay, <laughs> like inherent right. like got South it, Asian guilt it. vibes. Do you have like a favorite instrument? I I like that you asked that because yeah. it's not obvious. A cello really gets me. Mm. Like playing, hearing someone play cello really beautifully, it's yeah. just got this. But when you hear solo cello, it sounds so complete. You don't need anything else. Right. It's just this purity of tone and sound. One of my biggest regrets in life. Is that my parents didn't put me in violin class oh, when yeah? I was young. I really wish I could play the violin, violin. specifically. So I, I I I I don't think there's anything cooler than that. Did you want to play that at that age when you were young? No, I didn't know it was that cool. Uh-huh. But I, I feel like that's the other <laughs> yeah. thing, right? Because if you even in this generation, if you told a child, "Hey, go learn the sitar," mm-hmm. like, ah, is the sitar that cool? You know, yeah. in this generation, mm. I don't know. Because nah. like, if you're at a party, <laughs> if you're at a party, you're like, yeah. "Oh, I'll get my guitar." Yeah. No, 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 no. yeah, yeah. But like, hold up. Let me go get my sitar. Yeah, yeah like, not the same. Yeah. But that's what's interesting about like when someone comes to like a show like mine. I don't mean just mine specifically, but a show like mine where like a lot of people come in not being listeners of classical Indian music, and right. and I'm there with my pedal board, and I'm there with a drum kit and an upright bassist, and we're like properly grooving, and right. it's properly intense, and it's pretty badass at times, and yeah. it's like it just does kind of open people's minds up a little because of course an instrument like the sitar, and and the parallel is true with any classical style. There is a kind of inherent association that comes with it, but it is a classical form which historically younger people, yeah. it's not it's not like the pulse of a nation, right. so, you know. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, it's more your heritage, it's yeah. more your culture, and, and all of those things. So yeah, I think I think it can be very cool, but like hmm. it's overall the overall presumption is that yeah. it's is that it's cool. that's fair. We also have your tour coming up. Yeah, very exciting. Yeah. Let's talk about that. I'm very excited. I have yeah. a tour coming up. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. <laughs> yeah, done. I'm doing this new thing where I'm trying to release like mini albums instead of the whole thing all at once. And that I found really freeing after the pandemic, just to be able to get in a room with people, blank slate, mm. new collaborators each time, like really have fun, just co-writing and having a lovely time, and not with the same pressure that if you were thinking it was a whole album. Right. And so it's turned into these three chapters that are okay. like an evolving story. So chapter one is now out. Do you feel like you have a creative process? In particular, it changes, but my favorite process is what I just described. Like I love walking into a room with a blank slate and okay. being with musicians. Okay. My least favorite is sitting alone with a computer and like having to write okay. and score on my own. You want Because that riffraff back and forth? I just forth, yeah. love that. Like that chemistry for me is so inspiring. Like I'm, right. if I'm with a cellist or if I'm with a clarinet player or I'm with a drummer, like that just makes me think of that stuff. And right. the ideas just start coming, or you start playing, and it just flows. And I think that's like an old school way of working from before the other technology existed. Hmm. Um, and I just find it really immediate, really inspiring. We have a segment on our show called OK Boomer, where we qu- um, quiz our guests on okay. some of the Gen Z slang that the kids okay. are speaking. Okay, so I'm, I'm going to fail. Yes, okay. all our guests have failed. That in makes me feel better. Fashion. Okay. It should. Good. I'm going to give you a few words, and you are going to tell me what it means okay. or your best guess. I'm going to guess even when I don't know. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah. Cool. So the first word <laughs> is um, what is a red flag? 
A red flag is something that's like a deal breaker, boundary breaker. Okay. Like if someone you're dating shows a red flag, you're out. Yeah. Like no, no orange flag. This is like game there over. we go. Yeah. Okay, right yeah. off the bat. Yeah. What is a finsta? A toothpick that you stick in a watermelon at a party when you chop it up on a plate. <laughs> Dude, what? I don't know. I have no what? idea, obviously. Oh, okay. I, I need a minute to calm down from the... What is a Finsta? Um, not that. Yeah, I funnily don't know. enough. That shouldn't exist. Um, <laughs> an Instagram. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Right. So if you have like, like a popular person would have their main Instagram. You and then you have, have your little... A Anonymous one. Yes. Why a is that fake called a Instagram. fake Insta? Finsta. Oh, I have heard that. I forgot. Yeah. Okay. Do you have a Finsta? I do. Oh, okay. So yeah. That's what that I just is. didn't know that's what that was. Yeah. <laughs> what is Dululu? Here we go. I'm so excited okay. <laughs> for you. Yes. I cannot wait. Like a frothy dress with pom poms on it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, I appreciate it. it, it I'm it's trying. It's so wrong. <laughs> I can't even tell you. Um, <laughs> Delulu is basically short for delusional. Delusional. So when someone's being oh, like so cuckoo, delulu. Yeah, you're being okay. so delulu. Okay, I yeah. like that one. Okay, um, I'm gonna keep that. What does uh, Gucci mean? Like anything upscale, brandy. Uh, or fake brandy, tacky brandy. No, actually, you'd say or I'm Gucci like I'm good. I'm good, I'm Gucci. You're good. I'm Gucci with okay. that. Okay. Yeah. Okay. You know, you, you weren't a big fan mm. of this one. I don't think no. you're going to be using that. No. That's fine. What does stop the cap mean? Not a freaking clue. Mm. Stop the cap. Why would someone say, hey, stop the stop the cap, dude? Stop drinking, you've had enough. Stop the cap, stop driving, you're drunk. Um, stop mm. the cap, stop the cap, stop. Stop filming, put the lens cap back on. This is sucking. Um, <laughs> Hey, yeah. It's that. Stop <laughs> filming. Hey, put the lens cap back on. You got Is it. Is right. it? I got no, it. No, what? No, no. <laughs> okay, tell me. Stop what the cap it? means stop lying. Mm, why? Cap, cap means lying. Okay. So now it's just become okay. stop the cap, stop okay. the cap. Okay. What does Addy mean? Addy? Addy, yeah. Spell it. A D D Y. Um. Do you want it in a sentence? Yes. My favorite word is Addy. That's not a sentence. Okay. That's indicative. Send yeah, me, that's... Uh, send me an, ad send me the Addy. Your address. There we go. Okay. I gave it to you. Yeah, with you that. did. Okay. Somewhere in the middle would have been good, but you sure. did nothing or everything. My so. bad. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what is goat? The greatest of all time. There we go. And our last one is situationship. Like you're in a relationship just because it's convenient. Uh, okay. Well, not because it's convenient. Like it's, because it's situationally, it's between it, a, an actual yeah. relationship. Yeah. And so you're in like a thing. It's not really a big yeah. thing, but it's a thing. Okay. I didn't want you to get it, the last okay. one right. What does ghosting mean? Like you disappeared, and you're not contacting them again. You know a lot of. I'm quite impressed. Okay. You actually I'm glad know I didn't fail of, too spectacularly. You really didn't. Also, okay. like <laughs> a lot of our guests, like don't guess at all. They're really shy, but I really appreciate right. that. I you went really, in there. You really yeah. did. <laughs> Irrespective of how incredibly wrong you were, yep. you're like, I'm still going to guess If you're going to be wrong, be spectacularly yeah, wrong. There it Just is. <laughs> Clip that. That's a beautiful <laughs> quote. That is the yeah. OK Boomer segment. OK, but I'm not a boomer. So yeah. that's why. But that's just the sh OK, yeah, exactly. Yeah. I didn't say you were a boomer. I'm what you call a zenial, which a is zenial. that little, little window, yeah. which you know all about because you're Gen Z. So. I am a Gen Z. Yeah, Wait, why, do you, why yeah. would you assume I'm a Gen Z? I don't know, just because you wouldn't be doing this otherwise. OK, that's fair. Yeah. Well, OK. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, cool. Okay, so I want to take it back to Mumbai. You are here for how long this trip? Four days this trip. Just four days. Anything exciting happening in those four days? Yeah, um, apparently I'm getting an award from Elle magazine um, and I'm doing a little show. I saw some friends. Um, that's it, yeah. really. Okay. And a day off. I, I built in a day off yesterday, there so I, okay. I did nothing other than you nice say that with a lot of happiness. Are you someone who really likes her rest days? I like rest days, but also I haven't had a proper rest day in about six weeks. So um, it was the first one. So I like left the kids just a day early and was like, I have to go work. And then I just had one day to like <laughs> yeah. just do nothing. Because I just, I just did a really intense tour and we did like 
you know, 15 shows in 18 days where you're just flying or driving every day and doing the shows. And it does really kind of grind you down after a while. It's super fulfilling, but it's also physically mm. crazy. But then I came straight back into a recording and the kids like jump on you when you come mm. home. So yeah. I've been, I've been going nice and going. Though. Oh, it's amazing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, but like, uh, so then what does a chill day look like? You just like to do nothing. You like to go maybe get a massage. Yeah. Or... So, I mean, it depends where and it depends on the weather. Like London now is so awful out, you know, but it's all twinkly and cozy and wintry. So then I like I put on the fireplace and I sit and do nothing and I read and I watch TV. And But normally I'd like to like take a walk in nature um, and be kind of like fed by that. And like massage, like hands down favorite okay, thing in the world. Cool. So like some kind of spa time with a close friend so I can catch up and... While and the get... massage is happening? Well, usually there's these places where like, like in, in LA, there are these Korean spas that I'm, mm. I'm in love with and they're amazing. And so usually they have like a series of saunas and hot springs and whatever. So like if you go two hours early, for example, and then can sit with a girlfriend and chat and catch up and do all that in the hot springs and the sauna, and then you can go and get your own massages. But okay. it's like a nice way to combine them. Um, Relaxing and fun time. Very cool. Very mm. cool. Must we be kind nice of, having Every time we do it, we're like, why would we do dinners? You know, like this yeah. is so much nicer. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to talk about your upcoming album and its tracks. Mm -hmm. What can the people expect? Right. Well, it's out so they can hear it. Right. Uh, but it's, uh, you know what? I'm really proud of what I'm doing right now musically. I'm just trying to make music that really captures moments and like musical intimacy and truth like it's not really overthought overproduced music um but i was very specific that i wanted a sound that felt new like a kind of sound world you could bring people into which is why i worked with Aru Jaftab and Niels from because both of them do that in ways that i love so there's four songs on this collection chapter one forever for now um and the sound world is mainly made up of sitar and kind of sitar effects and Niels from's incredible instruments um, with a little bit of support from bass and, and uh, accordion, actually, mm. uh, which was interesting. Um, but the songs are quite mellow overall. Uh, I've just finished and mastered chapter two, which will come out in the spring. Um, so maybe I can talk about that more in the future. Um, but that kind of goes into like this deep. I wanted it to feel like you're, you're slipping someone into a, like a dream bath. Like it's super mm. mellow, super healing, super right. chill. Like nothing's going to jolt you out of it. And then chapter three is like wake up time. Like it's okay. very uh, upbeat and melodic and groovy. And um, so, yeah, so that's the kind of Got it. arc of the whole thing. Do you ever uh, sing your songs to your kids, putting them to sleep? You know, they have a couple of songs that I wrote just for them that are more lullaby-like that wow. I have sung to them since they were babies. I have like some songs with my dad or even a couple my mom wrote. Like there's kind of like a lot of lullaby type things that okay. I, I've Okay, so you have some them. originals that yeah. just your kids. They're just for them. Sort yeah. of get yeah. to. Okay, that's very cool. I had a lot of fun. Thank you so much for uh, talking to us, inviting us nice over to, to your to you place. Too. And uh, I wish you all the best with everything. Thank you so much. All right, there nice it time. is.